Hey guys, Jeff here. Today I have something really cool to show you. It's actually a website, which you're looking at right now. It's actually jeffweisbein.com. But as you can see, it actually looks like a computer terminal, like a real Linux terminal or even on OS X. It actually looks like that. So let me just show you something really quick. This was actually created by a friend of mine named Sam. He's from the UK. He's actually British. He's a really cool guy. He's a total geek, really into computer programming. He's like a hardcore computer programmer. He's really good. Um, anyway, he created this this site for himself, but then he said I could use it for my own personal site because JeffWeisbein.com, it was hosted, uh, it was a WordPress blog, but I never really updated it because I like to focus on best techie, uh, and I, it just never got updated. So I thought that this was a cool uh, thing to do with the site since there's really nothing else I use JeffWeisbein.com for. So anyway, let me show you something really cool. So this is the, what it looks like once the page is loaded, but once you actually load the page, and I'm going to refresh the page now. Watch this. It starts typing out line by line, just like in the terminal. Like it's auto and I'm not pressing anything, guys. This automatically happens. It's really, really cool. Uh, it's just a bunch of JavaScript and some HTML and a text file. Now, the reason I'm showing this to you is because I, I figured a lot of you guys would probably want to do this or at least try it out for yourself. And the beauty of uh, Sam, of what Sam did is is that he made it open as long as you give him credit in the uh, in the source, uh, then then you can use it for your own personal site. So check this out. All you have to do is go to my website, jeffweisbein.com, and once you're there, if you right click and choose view page source, it will open up something that looks like this. And see right here at the top, it says copyright to Sam. Yeah, just leave that in the code. And then all you're gonna wanna do is copy this entire, this entire page of code right here. Um, all of it, all the way down. You're going to want to copy all of it. Then once you get that copied, put that in a uh, HTML editor and save it as index.html uh, index, index is fine. Then, now you're going to want to make some edits to this because as you, as you can see, what it's reading from is something called jeffweisbond.txt. Now, you're going to want to change this to your own name and then you're going to want to go to my site, jeffweisbond.com and you're also going to want to go to Jeff, uh, and you're going to want to type in jeffweisbond.com slash jeffweisbond.txt. And once you go there, you'll find this code. Copy this, open a separate uh, document in your, in your HTML editor, and paste this in. Now, here's where you're going to want to type in your own information. For example, it says, hi, I'm Jeff Weisbind. You put in, hi, I'm John Doe. You know, for example, whatever your name is. And then you can put in your own your own information, your own about information, so on and so forth. Uh, don't remove any of the of the code that's here, like the, the, the P's in the brackets. Don't remove that. That's for paragraphs. You want to keep that. And these are just comments. Um, but you want to definitely keep the paragraph uh, in the brackets. Uh, definitely keep those so that way it separates the page and it reads as it should. So once you don't once you've done all that, then you can go to, you know, and you'll you'll upload it to your web server. In the index direct, in the in, uh, in the root directory, or, or in a separate folder, wherever you want it to be, it could be you know your root directory, or it could be blah 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 dot com slash new website. It doesn't matter as long as it's as long as it's on, on your server. So then once you do that, you're gonna save. Make sure oh by the way, make sure you do save the txt file as a txt file, not an HTML file. Then you're gonna upload the txt file and you're gonna upload the HTML file to the to the web server. Once you do that. You're good to go. And then whenever you load your website, it'll look like this. Really, really cool, right? I, I think this is amazing. Sam, you know, Sam's not a, he's an awesome programmer, but as I mentioned, but he's not a great UI designer. He'll be the first to admit that. So the reason he's like, let me do something that I'm that I'm that I know I can design that doesn't take a lot of work, but I'm uh, you know, it shows how geeky I am, which is really which is what I love about Sam. So he made this terminal looking web page, and I think it's awesome. Anyway, so guys, feel free to Use this on your own. Make edits however you want. It's really cool. Uh, let me know what you think. If you think this is cool, let me know. Curious to know. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And remember, remember, take care of your computers.